The GBI arrests a former deputy accused of sending inappropriate photos of himself to teenage girls. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Kim Chapman. Levi Amos was arrested today and bonded out of jail. He used to work for the Murray County Sheriff's Office. Kayla Strayer has more on the case and the other disturbing allegation against the former deputy. Kayla. Yeah, so tonight we found out that the former deputy is facing charges that involve abusing a state crime database in order to get personal information about women. Today we found out more about his law enforcement career and where it stands now. What started as a promising career for this young deputy turning into a resignation and now criminal charges. In a position like that, people really expect more out of you. The Murray County Sheriff's Office says Levi Amos started his law enforcement career as a jailer at 18. In this Facebook post from last year, the office congratulated him for becoming a deputy. But then in December, he resigned after a criminal investigation opened. Now at age 22, he's facing serious criminal charges. Charges. We spoke with Murray County residents about this case. Sounds bad to me. Just, I don't understand it. We look at them and think they're law enforcement, therefore they're supposed to be better than us. They're not. The GBI says the sheriff's office contacted them in December regarding Amos sending inappropriate messages and pictures of himself to underage girls. The office placed the deputy on a three-day paid suspension. Two days later, they say he resigned instead of being fired. I think there ought to be better training. I think they ought to be watching them better. The GBI says Amos was accessing the Georgia Crime Information Center database in order to get personal information on women without authorization. Instead of a deputy being able to go on the database, criminal database, there should be somebody. He's got to have a reason. Michael Hollis says he wants the former deputy to be held accountable and not get any special treatment. He was arrested. Now let's see what happens with the conviction. I'm not going to hold my breath till he's convicted of anything. Again, the former deputy has since bonded out of jail. We've been trying to get in touch with him. We will update you if we do. Meanwhile, the sheriff's office referred all questions about this to the GBI. This is an ongoing investigation. Reporting live in Chatsworth, Kayla Strayer, News Channel 9. Thank you, Kayla. We reached out to the GBI to clarify what kind of information Amos had access to on the GBI crime database. So far, we have not heard back.